Hey, it's Nick from Grayscale Gorilla, and in this quick tip tutorial, I'm going to show you how to save a new default scene file. So every time you open up Cinema 4D, uh, it has everything you need in it to get started. So let me show you what I mean. Uh, so in the last video, I showed you how to set up your own custom tabs and get your interface laid out the way that you wanted it to. Uh, in this video, it's more about some of the defaults that are on. So in, in one thing, in in uh, in almost every render I do, it's not uh, a square render like it is by default. It's more of like a widescreen. So let's just make the changes we want to make, and then save out this new file. So let's go. Uh, in my case, go to render settings. I want this to be 16 by 9, and let's say I also want it to be 1280 by 720. So let's say I, I render out like this all the time. Or let's say you render out in a very specific resolution or or, or a frame rate or anything like that. Um, get all, everything set up the way you want. Um, and then when you want to always open this with widescreen or always open it with whatever settings you make, uh, this is all you do. You uh, save this file, you go save as, and then you go into your version of Cinema 4D. You go to, um, in this case I'm using 15, so I'm gonna go to 15, and then inside of 15 I'm just gonna call this new.c4d. So new.c4d, I'm gonna save this, and now, Whenever I open a new scene file, you can see now it's gonna be that exact one. And this works with whatever. So let's say you always, uh, let's say you always want a floor and you always, uh, you know, and let's build some fun little MoGraph thing here. Uh, you know, I'm always testing out lights and stuff like that for LightKit Pro and things like that. So I've built some of these scenes like this when I use it a lot. Let's say in the, in the cloner mode, we're gonna make grid array and we're gonna shrink this down and move this up. Right, let's move our cloner up. Okay, let's move our camera and center our camera as well. And let's just say we want a camera in our scene that's turned on, ready to go. So let's say this is a, a very popular scene for whatever I'm working on. Let's say I always want it to be populated with this. So now I can actually uh, save as and just replace this. I'm gonna save, it's gonna say, do you wanna replace? Yep, okay, now check this out. Any new scene file I open, after that first one of course, it's going to bring the exact same one in, right? And it's gonna bring all your stuff in that you want. So if you have um, settings in your uh, render settings or in your picture viewer or in your scene file anywhere that you want always on by default, make those changes save that new scene file as new.c4d and every time you open Cinema 4D, it will open with all that stuff up and ready to go and in the right resolution, in the right frame rate and all that. Uh, again, thanks for watching these quick tips. I'm gonna have a, uh, a few more of these as they come up. Again, real basic stuff just to get you up and running with Cinema 4D. Uh, and uh, of course, we always have our, our more project-based long-form tutorials at grayscalegorilla.com slash tutorials where you can find a bunch of other tutorials that you can organize by what you're trying to learn and, and find something to learn with Cinema 4D. But anyway, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in another quick tip or a long-form tutorial really soon. Bye, everybody.